Soldiers, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today. It is a cold and rainy, wet day here in Omaha, Nebraska, but a little sunshine is in the Dream Studio today. The lovely Erica is joining us today. Hello, my friend. Hello. It has been so long since I've seen you. I know. We've only <laughs> talked, what, half a dozen times between? Yes, our good friend Emily is out sick today, so the lovely Erica is filling in for her. Here. So thank you for being here. Yes, Eric and I had quite a discussion yesterday about math. Yes. And it was yes. like at 8 o'clock at night, and neither you one of us... all know how we feel about that. Yeah, nobody should be doing that. <laughs> all right, so here are the newest projects from our countdown video. This is from Ninny to Six on Instagram. Okay, Ooh. Erica, do you love this? I do. Triangle? I do. That's just really fun. I mean, it's simple. It yeah. really celebrates the fabric, and you know how we feel about a good half square triangle. Uh, yeah, our favorite. I love all of the colors. That's yeah. beautiful. Next up is Suzanne. Oh, Susan A. Look at this cute project. Ooh. Oh, she's making stars using diamonds. Love that. It is pretty. I do like the colors. It kind of looks like creamsicles. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. As we get ready for. They're a little stripey there in there. A little stripey. It could, you should send me that, Susan, because I'm you binding with, with the stripe sister. for Pam. Uh, check out this adorable photo from Marguerite Lane Quilts. Look at all the snuggles. Oh, look at all that. And that is two, fun. Super cute quilts. So I think the one on the top may have been made with a cube, but for sure the one on the bottom was made with our large hexagon. Large hexagon. And I do love that die. I do too. I do too. It works great. All right, Quilters, today is all about showing our patriotic cuddlers for Memorial Day with the Go Star Spangled Banner Throw Quilt. And I'm going to show you today how to use the Storm at Sea die. So here is my photo of the day. Uh, a couple of years ago, I went to the Quilts of Valor annual meeting and was a keynote speaker there. And it was an amazing experience. So the question of the day is, are you a member of Quilts of Valor? Erica, do you think most people will be? I think a lot of our viewers are going to be members yep. of Quilts of Valor. Yep. Absolutely. And um, if you want to know more about Quilts of Valor, here's the link to their website. We have quite a few good friends that are members of Quilts of Valor. It's a great organization. We do, and we have patterns that are great for the dyes for yep. those. And cubes. Yep. All right, quilters, did you watch our 100th live show yesterday? We launched three new rulers. Oh, I think I might have some of them here. Oh, yes, I do. Look. Do you? I do. They try to give me all the things. Yes. Okay, so here is the one by six, which we think so is... So useful. So useful for, like, Y seams. And then this little four by... Oh, here. That helps. I'll lay them do down. Yeah, they're hard to see. Well, I have to turn my phone over so we can't see ourselves. Okay, so here's the one by six, which is great to help you with Y seams, and it's super portable. I like this one for maybe doing some fussy cutting. And then a six by 12 ruler, because this will fit in my, I carry, lots of times I carry my projects in those clear plastic totes. And so like my six by 24 won't fit in it, but this one will. Launch bundles are available, including the Quilting Rulers Essentials Bundle, featuring all three new rulers. Now, along with these fantastic bundles, we have other deals for you today. You can take 30% off Go dies, cubes, and bundles using that code MEMORIAL30 as we get ready for Memorial Day. This is the perfect time for you to snag some new Go dies, to pair up with some new rulers, Exclusions do apply, so check the website for details. Plus, you're going to get free shipping when your order reaches $100 free or shipping. more. Free shipping. If you live in the contiguous U.S., no code is required to redeem this offer. So think about that as you're looking. Make sure your order reaches $100, and then we'll ship it to you free. Today, I'm going to give away one of our Ghost Storm at Sea dies. Be sure and register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. By registering, you'll receive event emails, and that way you'll never miss an exciting show. And Erica will announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of today's show. Well, that's I fun. love this die. This was one of my bucket list um, dies. Okay, now today uh, we typically use free patterns on our Wednesday show, but the Go Star Spangled Throw Quilt is a four purchase pattern by our good friend Bea Lee from Bea Quilter. Now her pattern uses the mix and match eight inch cube and the companion angles. 
all right? But I'm gonna show you how to make it so much faster and easier using our storm at sea die, okay? So before we get started and we're gonna look at the die, let me show you this is the block that it makes. We're gonna talk about this for a second because this is what we call a double sashing block. Um, that means this right here, this part right here, this is called the sashing. So with our die, you can cut one single sashing nine inch block in just one pass through the cutter, or you can um, use multiple cuts through the cutter and cut the 12 inch block, okay? Now behind the lovely Erica is a free pattern called, I can't remember, we'll find out. I can't either. Tornado Storm, Storm at sea. sea, there we go, Thanks, Brock. Brock knows. And this is a free pattern, and you can see how it has, the sashing is double sashing all the way around it, right. but the colorway is just stunning. This is just stunning, okay? So that's one other option. So Star Spangled Throw Quilt, which is perfect. Right. And Tornado Storm at Sea. And then this one, Mr. Brock, we'll come back here. This one is called From Sea to Shining Sea. And it uses our Storm at Sea die. And I love it because it has this um, kind of medallion down here. I am 97% done with this project. This is a real showstopper. This, this really is. One is. Of our, I think this is one of my top 10 favorite patterns. Oh yeah, I love it. So look, here's the sashing around this block, but this is super cool because one of the shapes from the die makes this red rectangle, or a half square triangle, sorry. I'm not even thinking my words right, okay? So you wanna follow the pattern to create it, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And truly, all I'm doing now is finishing the red and the white section. I've done all the hard part, okay? Okay, so, so lots of different options using our Storm at Sea Dye. Um, be sure and check out that paid version for Beely or these ones that are free. They're also available in Go Quilt, so you can change like the Tornado Storm at Sea. If you wanted to change that to different colors, you could, okay? All right, let's take a look at our die. All right, this is a block and board die or a bob die. Oh, here, let me move my stuff out of the way. And I have to tell you, Erica, was Storm at Sea kind of like one of your bucket list? You know, I think it was, and it is for so many quilters, I think. Yeah, it was for me, and I never made it because there was never a die for that. <laughs> so when they released the die, I was so excited. Once um, there was a die for that, yeah. it made all the difference. Yeah, yeah. All right, so each piece is screen printed so you can keep track of your pieces. All of them have that quarter inch seam allowance. And then we have specialized dog ears right here. So we've cut off these dog ears, which is an AccuQuilt innovation, all right? It's divided by color, and we'll talk about that in just a second. It's on a 10 by 24 die board. So make sure you use a 10 by 24 mat. Oh, yes. All right, you don't want to be messing around with that. All right, so these shapes here, um, this is my blue colorway, um, but we're gonna do it in red. So here's shape A, and here's shape C. The center is F. This is H around it. This is E around that square and a square block, okay? It all makes sense, all right? Then this fabric down, or this shapes down here are white. Now, I want to, to give you my little pro tip, okay? Shape B is what we call a directional shape, and this is the shape that's gonna go around this diamond, okay? Now, we're gonna do it today in white, but if you were doing it in color, in a pattern, you wanna fan fold back and forth so that there is a left and a right side to this. If you stack all your fabric facing up, it's only gonna make a left side and you're gonna be super cranky about that. Okay, so let's lay out our fabric here for the red. I love this Northcott fabric. Erica, I think you have some of this. Oh, probably. I think so, okay. Now, highly people, likely. Yeah. People ask us about subcutting all the time. So I'm gonna show you with our new little ruler how I determined 
um, how to cut my fabric for this. You wanna make sure that the lengthwise grain of the fabric, and I'll show it here in a second, is parallel to these lengthwise blades. I always tell you, label it your belly, lengthwise grain. And the reason is that lengthwise grain is nice and tight. So look right here, you can hear it, nice and tight. This would be the salvage if we had kept the salvage on there. All right, so what I did was, I just wanna be able to fan fold back and forth. I can always cut six layers at a time. So what I did was I measured from here to here and it's eight inches. I just rough cut eight and a half inches with my little ruler. I really like that new six by 12 size. It is so. It is great for sub cutting your fabric. Yeah. Okay, and then we're just gonna go back and forth. Now I purposely did my width of fabric because there are no blades in the cutter. They're only in the die. So it's only gonna cut where there is fabric and a mat. So I'm gonna use my Go Big today so it's, I don't have to worry about this little tail, okay? So when we talk about subcutting, that's what we want to, that's what we're doing. All right, Erica, so tell us people, are they part of Quilts of Valor while we cut? You know, we have quite the cross section yet. We've got people that are, We've got a lot of people, like we have Gail D, we've got Randy, we've got Carrie, they're all looking into it. They've been thinking about it. There you go. So I think that that is really good. Um, uh, Miriam, she is a member in Maryland. And Barb, she is a member as well. There you Patty go. Says, Patty says she was until COVID hit and her group hasn't really gotten back together I again. was gonna say, I bet a lot of, sorry, I have to take my shoes off. Um, yeah. I think during COVID, a lot of, of groups stopped. Right. Eating, I right? think that, I think so too. It's looking like that. And we've got some people who aren't members, but they have donated quilts. Oh, there you go. So. There you go. That's great too. I'm sure they'd love to have you as a member. Oh yeah. And okay. Kudos to the Omaha Modern Quilt Guild because I am a member and I never go to meetings. <laughs> Okay, I love all of them. They are such inspiration to me. But, you know, when I was traveling and stuff, it was just so busy. And so anyway, I, I feel like they're just happy to have you. <laughs> so, you know, show up when you want. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, join me again tomorrow for an educational class on our cubes and the grid method. We're going to talk about our five inch cubes and all the rest of the sizes of cubes. We have seven of them now. And the grid, because that's a question we get all the time is, how can I change the size of my block? Can I make it bigger or smaller using the grid? And the answer is, yes, you can. We're going to show you. All right, so be sure and register. It's up on the event page, right? Yep. So event, uh, register for the chance to win prizes. All right, so now that my pieces are cut, let's start sewing. And I cut two, so, um, well, I'm just gonna do one, because then I can do a whole block, okay? All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start, you're gonna read all the instructions, <laughs> quilters, okay? And we are gonna start with this, which is um, shape F, which is a square, and a square and a square. Now, this is a square. It is not a square on point, all right? Because um, we talk about the difference. So with this, you're able to make the square in the square in the square. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? So we're gonna start here, and we have uh, four of our shape Gs. I like to leave it on the little die board. I don't know, then I know where my pieces are. Yes, that's a great tip, especially with, for your first couple of blocks, I think. And I think sometimes too, um, then I, sometimes I use um, sticky notes. Erica, yes, the highly technical, the highly technical form of highly scratch. technical form of sticky, sticky notes. notes. Okay, yes. so let's look at this real quick before I sew it. So these are half square triangles going around, or quarter square triangles, sorry, going around our square. So look how it's gonna cut perfectly. And now we can just sew right here to here. It's, that's the thing, is the accuracy makes it so much easier to sew your pieces together. 
I know that Erica, you're working on that exploding heart quilt. I am, I am working on my exploding heart and it's coming right along. I finally got all of my units together. So now I'm following Pam's tip and sewing together those nine patches. It's yeah. going so slick. Use the grid, all right. So now we're gonna sew the other side. Well, while you're sewing. Yes, tell us about Quilts of Valor. Well, Karen says she's in Canada and she is a member of Quilts for Survivors there. Oh, the I Canadian have never group. heard of that. I had not either. Uh, Faye says she's a lead, team leader in Florida. There you um, go. Noreen says she's not a member, but she's a veteran who wore the uniform for 38 years. Thank you for your service, Noreen. Thank you, Noreen. Uh, next up, let's see, who else have we got? Oh, Karen is a member and loves it. Our good friend Judy from Celtic Quilter is all into Quilter. Very Quilter's active color. with them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna press my half, uh, my tr half square or quarter square triangles away, sorry. I'm gonna put them right here. You ready? And because I sewed them together, they're gonna press away beautifully. All right, now you can see when I go to add that next triangle, it's gonna line up perfectly because I sewed them right. And that's the other thing, quarter inch seam quilters, not a scant quarter inch seam, not a fat quarter inch seam. Is there such a thing as a fat quarter seam? I think that's kind of funny. I just made that up if we haven't. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hey, and Erica, while I'm sewing, do you yes, want to talk about all of the new tools we have on our website? We're oh, going to talk about it in a minute. But we have so many new goodies on the website. So to start with, we've got a couple of great fusible products. Mm -hmm. Those are ones that Pam and I kind of tried out and picked out. There's one called Fuse Me, just a yes. good basic fusible. Put I it on the back it of for your... the name, by the way. Yeah. And there's another one called Fuse and Stick. That one's really fun. You fuse the backing onto the back side of your fabric. And then when you pull, you cut it on your die. When you pull the paper off, it's a little sticky. So it kind of sticks where you put yeah, it. Really fun. Cool. Um, of course, you know, we've got the irons, but we added that steam fast iron. Right. Okay. So wool mats, but we also have new things. So we have replacement blades for your rotary cutter. I mean, you just basically, let's face it. When you're prepping your fabric, it, there's nothing worse than a dull blade. Just get some no. every time you order a die. Okay, and it's so right? funny, Erica said that because I was working on a project yesterday and I, for the first time in a long time, changed my blade. And I thought, oh dang, I should have done this like months every ago. Every time I change it, I think, why didn't I do this sooner? Yes. We've okay. got pins. There we go. Keep talking and we have okay. bindy clips. Oh, clippies. Yep. We have wonder clips. They're Fabulous, if you haven't used those before. The flower pins, those are really good. Even Pam's been known to pin some things. I have been known to pin a thing or two. Just a thing or two. All right, so now we're gonna add these other triangles to our block. And again, look how good it is. It's gonna line up perfectly. But I'm gonna show you this super cool trick that Erica and I use. So when we're sewing, it's like flying geese. I right. want to make sure I get that point. So I'm going to sew from this side rather than from this side. And then that way I make sure that my points are straight. And we are pressing away from the center block. And it says that in the pattern. Oh, that's good. I love when they include the pressing direction. Right. I am currently writing a pattern for some new product that we have that I will not talk about. And, <laughs> um, I tell you, that is really crucial, is yes. pressing, you know? When I go to retreats or when I go to other places and I see quilters, that's the first thing they ask me is, tell us, tell us all the secrets. They always hey, look at that. Secrets. See? Okay, so we're gonna do the same side and same way on this side. And if you're making this block quilters, you're gonna have all of your Fs lined up and then all of your Gs and then all of your Hs, okay? You can just chain piece for days. I am a good, I am a good chain piecer. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right, Erica, tell us if people are be members of Quilts of Valor. Well, Ginger says she would love to make a quilt for Quilts of Valor. And Cindy says she's not a member, but she has eight quilts of valor quilts finish that she's ready to present to them. So that, I wow. think that they're gonna, they're gonna love you. They're gonna they are. open arms. 
And you don't always have to, um, you can just make blocks. Did you know that right. quilters? You can. You, you can just make quilts of valor blocks. If you go onto their website, mm -hmm. they have a block drive every year. Yep. And they have specific blocks and it's a free pattern and you can download that pattern. Just make, all you have time to do is make a couple blocks, make those, send them in. They'll be more than grateful for them. And in the past, both Eric and I have written patterns for Quilts of Valor yep. with our cube system. Yes. So that's kind of fun. I have a uh, Siller House Sewing. She says she's not a member, but she's long arm quilted lots of quilts for them. Oh, that's fabulous. That is fabulous. Okay. My iron is making a... Carol says noise. that her guild does Quilts of Valor as a group, and then one of their members delivers them all when they're done. That's nice. Oh, that'd be great. I feel like that's a great project to do as a group because, you know, like me, I could just sit and chain piece for days. Right, right. right? And then other people, I don't know, maybe they like to iron. Okay, Does so look. Does anybody like to iron? I, I know quilters who like to iron. I guess my mother likes iron, but she's not a quilter. She just likes to iron. No, I've been to retreats where there are quilters who are serious about their ironing. Oh, oh, oh true. So I'm going to do it on the other side. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm too busy talking. Uh, this is interesting. Jones made a comment. She said her husband got quilt, a quilt, Quilts of Valor, and he recently passed away, and she thought that maybe since his name and rank and Purple Heart, et cetera, is logged on it, it would be fun to pass it along to another vet. Oh, I, I don't know if there's, I don't, I don't know, know if there are rules for that. I don't know either. Somebody from Quilts of Valor tell us, because yes. that's a great idea. Because I'm sure watching today, we have like presidents of Quilts I'm sure of Valor. we do. And I'm sure okay. they're wanting all of these people to get on their website and join. Yeah. yeah. All right, so look how I'm making a square and a square and a square. Love it. One of my favorite blocks is square. It was one of the first blocks I learned how to make quilting. Was it really? Mm -hmm. And I think that's why it's one of my favorites. Probably. Probably. All right, here we go. Like your first love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Karen says from uh, Pembroke Pines, Florida, she's a Navy veteran. So suppose she thinks maybe technically every quilt she makes and keeps is given to a vet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, we should do one day the question is going to be, I'm sorry, I was not watching what I was doing and I let my fabric slip. I should have pinned it. Eric is here. I distracted her. Um, no, I'm thinking one day the question is going to be, um, what percentage of quilts did you keep as compared to what percentage of quilts did you give away? Did you give away? That's interesting too. Do you not give away most of your quilts? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Though... <laughs> Oakley Heller, <laughs> I mean, I count those as giving them away, but they are at my house. There is quite a stack. Well, there is one that I definitely made for myself that somehow is on John Roberts' bed, even oh. though as we speak. Taylor Heller has a couple that I made for myself that are currently on his bed. I'm not sure how that all happened. Oh. Laurel says she made the Hugs of Heroes pattern that is on the Quilts of Valor website entirely with her eight inch cube. There that's, you go. That's good information to pass along to everybody, Laurel, thank you. All right, quilters, look how easy that was. Okay, so the question is why is an AccuQuilt fabric cutter better than rotary cutting? Okay, imagine how difficult and time consuming it would be to cut all of these shapes with a rotary cutter or You'd probably have to use a template or a ruler. And you can just cut all the shapes you need for that nine inch block in just one pass through the cutter. Don't forget today we have bundles available featuring the three new rulers, including um, the Quilter Ruler Complete Bundle. This bundle has the three new rulers as well as that big 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch ruler, which I use all the time. In addition, the Go Cube 5 mix and five inch mix and match block bundles are still avail available for a limited time. They, they are just so popular right now, but, and so we just wanted to make sure everybody got the chance to get them. The, I love the five inch cube. I've made probably more projects from the five inch cube than I have any other cube that we've tested. 
Now, while we have great deals on these bundles, we also have amazing offers. With our warehouse sale, you can receive up to 38% off selected items, no code needed. So before the show, um, J producer Joe asked us, what other dye goes, um, have you seen projects with, with the storm at sea? And do you remember the answer, Erica? Yeah, it's this snail oh, trail. Oh, yes. We often see these two blocks together. And that snail's trail is on sale today. It is. How much is I it? I didn't write that one down. Oh, it's part of the warehouse sale. It is part of the warehouse sale. Yeah, so this is a great block and you often see them go together. Somebody made like a completely scrappy, bright, colorful oh, one Oh, it's together. wonderful. Yeah. I wanna say that it's called Shakespeare in the Park, but there I'm not 100% sure. I'll look that up. In your um, spare time, will you do that? Meanwhile, the Storm at Sea dye, yeah. buy it today, use Memorial 30. It's gonna be $83.99 for you. Oh, there you go. And then if you wanted to add that um, Snail's Trail Bob dye in there, and then it would ship free if you live in the contiguous. Right, because it'd be over $100. Hey, Pam, can you address the pressing again? So yes. how you were pressing to the outside yes. and why we had a couple of people right. want to verify that. Right, okay, so when I sewed my first block together, I pressed everything away to the outside and then I pressed it to the outside. And the reason is then it's gonna lay flat where these points come together. A lot of people press their seams open and sometimes you know that helps reduce the bulk but if you press it away, then look how good my points are on the other side. And sometimes if you have that open seam, you lose those points. And the points are what you wanna do, okay? So today I'm gonna to give away one of our Ghost Storm at Sea Dyes. Be sure to register for future events, including tomorrow's special event on a Thursday um, on the AccuQuilt website pay, event page for your chance to win, okay. So now that we've made the center square in a square, let's show you how to make the corner square in a square. And, oh, I bet four of those sewn together equals one of those. Sometimes the math works. <laughs> it didn't work so well for me last night. Actually, it did once I stopped thinking about it, okay? Right. All right, so we're gonna start with our square, which is shape C. And then we're gonna add shape D, just like we have to the other one, okay? And again, when you're making this block, you wanna just to have all of your shapes, C's and D's ready, so you can just chain piece for days, okay? All right, Erica, tell us more about people in Quilts of Valor. I'm just okay. loving this Wait, question. Wait, I was on questions. We had a couple questions. Oh, okay. Um, Ginger was asking about using flannel. She was having trouble getting flannel out of the dyes. Any suggestions? Oh, okay. When I use flannel, this is the only time I ever use this. I use Best Press because it makes it a little stiffer mm -hmm. and it has a little bit, it's flannel. It's a little bit more body. really is stretchy, mm -hmm. okay? And so if I do it with Best Press before I cut the pieces, it has a tendency to come out cleaner. And you wanna make sure you keep your dye clean, so use your dye pick for that. Mm -hmm. Put one in your cart if you don't know where yours is, and then a lint roller will help keep the- A lint uh, roller. The, all the stuff and off And then you the can top. do your shirt when you're done. Yeah. Cause oh, the other day I was sewing and then we went to go to the movie. <laughs> and Ray said, do you have a lint roller? I was like, what? And ta-da. I needed one. Okay. We so had now. somebody else asking about seam allowances. Yes. yes. Seam allowances, that quarter inch seam allowance is built into each and every one of our piecing dies. So yes. You never have to All worry. of our geometric shapes. Yep. Our All of our geometric applique shapes do not because we're not we're not doing right. needle turn, but this right. one we are. Okay, so look, I pressed it away. And now because I pressed it away, this piece is gonna fit perfectly right there. Okay, do we have other questions, Erica? That was we a good do. question. We do, we have another one. Somebody's asking if we have a list of patterns for dyes that you can't, for dyes that you can't fan fold on. And that's an interesting question, but I don't think we have that. 
it's always going to be, those cutting directions are always going to be in the pattern. Right. And it's always going to tell you in the pattern whether you can or can't fan fold. But I don't think we have a list. There is not a list. And I'm going to, no, there is not a list. There is not a list of that. But Erica is exactly right. Like you can always find it in the pattern. And when, if they're newer Bob dies, then the lovely Eric and I made a video saying, oh, hey, yeah. and this is a directional shape you want to fan right. fold here. Right. Um, so, hey, let's, let's talk about this for 10 seconds. Oh, we have more than 10 seconds. Oh, we do. This. Okay. So, these are basic geometric shapes, right? Half square triangles, um, square, square, half square triangles. Even the diamond is, okay? But it's this shape right here that we call it a directional shape because you're going to have to fan fold back and forth to get your shape. So this one, we could stack all of our fabric facing up or we could do like I did and just fan fold back and forth. So sometimes it's just one shape on a die, but sometimes it's like the whole die. Okay, so I guess it just really depends on the shape in there. Like a couple of weeks ago, Erica did the Cleopatra's fan. Yes. And that whole die, you have to fan fold back and forth. And it right. says that in the pattern. So download the free pattern and read through it before you subcut your fabric. Okay, you'll be happier that way. Yes. All right. Here we go. Good questions, though, today. We have good questions. We've got a couple more. Someone was okay. asking uh, how you keep the mat from slipping off when you rub it before you take it off the die. She ends up shifting the mat and moving her pieces. And I think you are going to move them a little bit. Yeah. You kind of, I usually, I guess I hold it down on one, si one end. Yeah. Kind of rub in the and middle. Kind, yeah, I kind of rotate kind of, it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those pieces. Sometimes it doesn't matter. You Sometimes can give it all do. the love and it's still... They do. You give them all the love you can and they still go wandering around. It's like yes. the kids. Yes. All right, so now we're going to add shape E to the outside. Okay, right here. And we're going to do the exact same thing as we did before. We're going to sew it from this side so that we can make sure we stop right there where that point is. Yeah, mats are... And hey, cultures, if you haven't replaced your mat lately, now's a good day. Oh, yes, do with that. Because I feel like sometimes, I, I see that question a lot is, you know, it's not cutting all my layers of fabric. And the answer is, mm, one, how many layers of fabric are you cutting? Right. And two, when was the last time you got a new mat? Yep, we had somebody, Joy, ask if we pre-wash our flannel. I, I never do. Typically do not. No. I've gotten so that I really hardly ever pre-wash anything. I, yeah, even red, yeah. I don't pre-wash. I mean, colors back in the day, you know, colors really had a tendency to bleed and fade. Right. But nowadays, you know, and if you get good fabric, like this is Northcott fabric, you know, our Do good friends at You happen to know Moda. the name of that red fabric, by the way, Pam, because Gail would like to know. Inquiring minds would like to know Inquiring here. Inquiring minds. Oh, yes. It is called Stars and Stripes. Oh, fabulous. By yeah. Northcott Fabric. By our Thank good you. friends at Northcott Fabric. I know. Okay, we've got some people asking questions about cubes while you sew. Okay, let's Diana, talk about cubes. Well, Diana wants to know if the cube system can make a snail's trail block. And I would say the answer to that is both yes and no. Yes, the answer to that is yes and no. So, here, let's pull you up our can. block. But, but you're going to need two sizes gonna, of cubes to make it. At least. I haven't done the breakdown for the a while. The six and the 12. Yeah. Okay, here. Hold on. Hold, please. Hold, please. Miss Pam has the block, and she knows how to use it. I do. All right. So this is the snail's trail block, and you need the 6-inch cube and the 12-inch cube. So I would say while it's on the warehouse clearance sale at 38% off, just get you one. It comes on a 10 by 10 die board. It's really easy. It will fit through your go or your go big. Okay, the reason is if you're gonna make it by yourself without, a, uh, if you have the two sizes of cubes. Okay, oh, look, I'm gonna use my new ruler. Okay, 
the center block right here, this is six inches. Okay, so you're gonna use shapes two and four because these are quarter square triangles, okay? And this, these, these are squares and these are quarter square triangles. And then shape three, which are half square triangles, okay? So then it's gonna make a six inch square. Then you're gonna take your cube and you're going to count this as your center and then you're gonna use shape four and three from your 12 inch cube. Now, here's the thing. We've got two sizes of snail's trail dies. Right, we have one for the go and one for the go big. Right, so the 12 inch one that Pam has in front of her is made with the go big snail's trail die, mm -hmm. which today is definitely the day that you wanna buy that with that Memorial 30 because it's gonna come to 67.75. Right. But remember, you need to have a cutter with a button and not a handle. Yes. And you need a 14 by 16 inch mat as well. So right. make sure you get that too. Yeah, so I love the Go version of it because it comes on that 10 by 10 die board. Right, and that makes an eight inch finish yes. square. Yep. So all of the things, so the answer is yes. Sometimes you can make things with a cube. I am, I am not opposed to that, but boy howdy, I'd much rather have a Bob die where I have all of the shapes on one die board and then I don't have to be searching and doing math in my head and trying to figure out, you know, what pieces I needed to do that. Absolutely. It has to, oh, Joe, that is such Joe a spoke. great question. Joe spoke. Producer Joe says, does it have to be a six and a 12? The answer is no, because guess what? We have a four and an eight and a five and a 10. He gets a gold star for the day. But it will change the size of your finished block. <laughs> It will change the size of your block, and I have no idea what the fabric requirements are, but somebody please make one. But we've never been so proud. I've never been so proud. He did good. Okay. I feel like it was maybe a community question in there, or was it just Joe by himself? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, I'm, th I'm new to this, so I'm following my, I, I, I'm, I'm there usually up there with you. This whole sitting and watching the computer thing is different. Yes. Somebody wants to know how, Rachel wants to know how often you change your mat. And I'm going to say, oh. you're going to get hundreds of cuts. It's hundreds gonna make, of cuts. But when you notice that what was cutting cleanly is now leaving threads and not cutting cleanly, yeah. that's a good indicator. Also, yeah. if you can hold it up to the sun and see cracks through it, that's yeah. definitely an indicator. Go ahead and yeah. replace it. It's just like your rotary cutter. You're going to be so happy once you do. Yes. And no, you do never, Monica, you don't have to replace those blades in your cutter. Never, ever, ever. The blades are in the cuts. dies and they don't rub against, it's not metal to metal, so you're never going to wear not those. like off. scissors. That's right. That's what we tell you. Great questions today, everybody. I'm having trouble keeping up with them. Okay, we're just sewing. And yes, just you sewing and talking. Okay, okay, ever since Joe now said that. Yes. I want to go home and make one with the four and the eight. Well, now I have uh, Yolanda is hey. asking if she can make this block, I think it was this block, with the eight inch cube. And the answer to that is yes, but you're also going to need the companion angles. Which is the pattern that we're using today by our good friend Bia Lee. So if you have the eight inch cube and the companion angles, purchase that pattern on our website and Bia will tell you how to put the whole thing together. It's basically the same kind of thing we're building square into square blocks. And then um, she's gonna give you fabric requirements and all of the dyes that you need. Oh, okay. Jackie yes. says, why do mats crack? Well, if you're, it's, it's like anything else. If you score something, take a piece of cardboard and you score it often yep. enough with a, with a blade, Eventually, you're going to break through. It's kind of the same concept. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you, um, you want to replace your mat. You want to replace it before that. Yeah. yeah. You really do. Yeah. We've all done it, but you really want to replace them before then. All right. <laughs> now, we're going to show, show, we're going to sew shape A. I'm going to show you how to do this because this is super cool. And the pressing for this is different. Okay and it says so in the pattern. <laughs> now, if you use the companion set 
angles, you're gonna create a block that is the triangle in a square. You're gonna use from the companion set angles the first two shapes, okay? This is an isosceles triangle in that cube. It is not an equilateral triangle, okay? But then you have this extra seam in the middle and why would we have an extra seam when we can just sew the whole thing together? Well, there you go. All right, so here's my lefts. And because I fan folded, then I have a right, okay? And this is gonna be great because I did them in white, so it doesn't, it's not that hard. You can make them all work. This is solid. Choose a solid, choose a pattern, yeah, if you wanna fan fold. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on opposite sides. Now, I want you to know, quilters, that more often than I would care to admit, I have sewn these two pieces together incorrectly. Okay, so see right there, see that's- Right there, yeah. Right there you thinking, oh yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, that is not true. So what you wanna do is the way you know that it's gonna fit is that these dog ears are cut off and then you know, oh, oh you're saying to yeah. yourself, yep, right true. the same thing is gonna happen up here, right? It's gonna be flat at the top and it's gonna be flat along that side, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start here and sew. And don't forget all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube channels. Um, you can go back and watch one if you need to. And you can search on YouTube. You can watch AccuQuilt videos all day. You can. If you wanted to. Yes. Oh, hey, we forgot to give a shout out to um, Jenny. We forgot to ask where people were watching from. Jenny is watching on her phone as her child is having track and field day. <laughs> she wins. Yes, be careful. She does. Yeah, be careful. Don't fall or yes, anything. Don't fall if you're walking somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So and speaking of winners, okay, I just have to say this one because Bonnie says her group, her Quilts of Valor group, delivered a hundred, or her group delivered a hundred and twenty-nine quilt tops to Quilts of Valor last year. That good job. That is that is amazing. amazing. That is amazing. All right, so now I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna sew in why so Erica's gonna talk about our blog. Oh, I am, we have a blog. And we have great articles in there. They're by me, they're by other members of the staff, they're by a lot of our go-getters, our social ambassadors. And they just have so many great tips and tricks. They've got exclusive patterns that you just find as tutorials on the blog. So you want to go ahead and sign up so that you'll get a notification email every time a new blog goes live. Now, this diamond in a rectangle block, okay, I'm gonna press it open. And the reason I'm gonna press it open is that dog ear right here on the corner, it will lay nice and flat. The whole piece will lay nice and flat if you press your seams open. Okay, and this is one of those great times that we have our little shovel iron. Okay, look at this. Okay, now when I come here, it's gonna lay nice and flat because I pressed my seam open. Okay, I'm gonna tell you quilters, 90% of the time I press to the dark side. But every now and then, there are those times. I have to read the instructions and it says, press your seams open and I am obedient. Yes. Because in my quilting head, I have spent way too much time having too much bulk because I did not follow that instruction, okay? So now we're just gonna do our thing here. So this die is perfect because basically these are the three blocks you're making. Just over and over and over again. All right, so chain piece, cut all your pieces and then just chain piece them. I love it. All right, Erica, just tell us real quick, are people still being parts of Colts of Valor? Yes, they are. I have a question too, so let me go back to my Colts of Valor here. Oh, Wait, it's here. That was a set. Oh, I broke a needle last night just oh. to add to the frustration Ooh. of my day. That's, that's not good. Shannon says a friend of hers had a spouse with Colts of Valor when they, and they passed 
his down to the youngest military member of the group. That's kind of cool. See, somebody knew. We knew somebody would yeah. know. Some, we knew somebody would have an answer. And now, can you remind everybody, if they purchase this pattern by BLE, are they going to have the directions for using the cube in it? Or? Yes, the cube and the companion set angles. And that's going to be in the 8-inch size? 8-inch cube and companion set angles. Okay. Yep. So but we, could you use the 10-inch cube and companion angles? Yes, it yes. would just be a different size. Yes, could you use the 6-inch cube? Yes. So yes, April, you can make it with your 10 inch cube, but you're gonna need the companion angles and it's gonna be a different size. Okay, it's so oh, it not happy, happy. I don't know. It did this last week about this same time. While you're working with that, we had a question okay. from Karen about the Rob Peter to pay Paul die. Oh my word, okay. And wanted to know if there, said that there's only a pillow pattern for it. Is there any chance of getting a quilt pattern for it? I'm gonna say not from AccuQuilt, but you could certainly go online and find some free patterns, I'm sure. Probably can. Because it's yeah. been around for such a long time. It, it has. And just do a little math, because the pillow will tell you. Right, the pillow pattern is going to give you the requirements for that number of blocks. Right. You just have to figure out how many blocks you would need right. to do your quilt and then do a little math. Yeah. And if you've got an AccuQuilt retailer or a great quilt shop nearby, they'd probably be very happy to help you with that. Yes, I'm sure they would be. And we can and certainly we add that to the request list for the, the yes. product development team. Our good friend Lauren and Michelle. Um, okay. I'm going to tell you on our website, there is a fabric, oh, I'm so sorry people moderating today. There is a um, fabric conversion chart and it tells you, here's your eight inch cube and you can, out of a six inch strip, you can cut this many of shape number one and this many out of a yard. And that's what Erica and I used mm -hmm. for our exploding heart. Yes. And I'm going to tell you that is just like gold. So those resources live on the website. Like Pam said, you want to go to AccuQuilt.com to find that. And across the top, there are a list of headers or titles. And one of them almost all the way to the right hand side is learn. Learn. And go into learn. If you hover over, take your mouse, take your little mousey mouse, put them over the word learn, you're gonna get a pop-up down below. One of them says fabric reference yep. chart. How much fabric do you need? Yeah. That chart is invaluable. Just go ahead and print it out. You might wanna just keep that there or bookmark it because you're gonna use that all the time. Right, and tomorrow um, in our cubes and conversion class, we're gonna talk about the grid system. We're gonna reference that chart because for example, um, the exploding heart was written for not AccuQuilt, but eventually she she used she our added, AccuQuilt die. Right. Yes. She added die cutting. Yes, Lauren added that, or Laura, sorry. Laura. And, um, but when I was doing it for myself, because the pattern required Ha, um, squares and quarter square triangles. Right. But I wanted to have half square triangles, so then I was able to look at that conversion chart, figure out how many half square triangles, and then the fabric I needed. And then it she was, told me. And then I told her. I wrote it down, and then I told Erica. Okay, now let's lay out our little partial row. Look at this. It's so pretty. Isn't that so fun? All right, so. To make my block, I sewed this row together and this row together and this row together. I pressed them in opposite directions so that my seams right here would nest. I do love that. Mm -hmm. Right? And then you would just continue to follow the pattern to give you details on the number of shapes and blocks you need to complete the project, whether it's um, from Bia's or whether it's one of our free patterns at AccuQuilt.com. And I liked Bia's um, pattern because it had two different colorways, and I liked the fact that I just happened to have two different stars 
in the red and the blue. Now, we talked about this beef for Memorial Day, but certainly you could do it for the 4th of July. You could make a table runner. You could make a bench pillow would be kind of fun, um, whichever you want to do. And then quilt is desired and bind using our two and a half inch strip die. All right, be sure and share your finished projects with us on our social media pages. We would love to see them. All right, Erica, before we talk about what's next, do you have any more questions? I do, I have one and I don't know the answer to this. Annette from sunny Idaho is asking the difference between quilts of honor versus quilts of valor. Oh, I got nothing. And I don't either. I don't either. You have officially stumped us both. I am not familiar with quilts of honor, but I will certainly look them up. We will. Thank you, though. And don't forget, quilters, we, if you'd love to join Quilts of Valor, they would love to have you. They would. And again, you can just make blocks if you want to. You can make whole quilts. Um, we have quite a few people that we know that quilt quilts for Quilts of Honor or for Valor that um, do it for free. Yes. So lots of, lots of things. All right, so Eric is here today. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, I will be here. And then Eric yeah. and I will be back on next Tuesday, May 31st at 12 noon Central Time. We are going to release, uh, relaunch a classic go die. Be sure to register in the link for the chance to win prizes. And don't forget, quilters, we have everything you need to make sure you're doing the right, using the right tool for the right job. The Rotary Cutting Bundle Beginner Quilting Bundle is perfect. It has two different sizes of rulers, that one by six, which is super cute, six by 12, a rotary cutter, and an 18 by 24 double-sided mat, which is great. Um, these are the ones that we cut here on the Dream Studio and we cut on at home. Plus, you can take 30% off go dies, cubes, and bundles using that code MEMORIAL30 and get free shipping on orders over $100 if you live in the contiguous U.S. So, Erica, this makes, you can make a 9-inch block or a 12-inch block. Those cubes are on sale today? The cubes are on sale. I was just going to mention that, Pam, because if you don't have, say, the 8-inch cube, right. it's going to be on sale today for $174.99. And it will ship free. That companion angle, so that you need to make this pattern then, would be one one eleven ninety nine. It would ship free if you live it in the contiguous It would ship free for yes. you. If you're wanting to go big and get the 10 or the 12 inch cube today, it would be only two hundred and sixteen ninety nine. dollars Excellent. And that, the companion then would be one thirty nine ninety nine. So remember quilters, because this is a question we got a lot when we were in Paducah. Quilters were like, oh, I can't get that 10 or 12 inch cube because I only have the Go fabric cutter. Oh. No, the Go, you can use all the cubes yes. and the Go fabric cutter and the Go Big, you can actually use two of the smaller dies. The four, five, six, eight, and nine, I get a gold star for remembering them, um, will all fit through your Go Me as well, okay? So think, if you have a Go cutter, you can use all of the sizes of cubes. Today's also a great day to stock up on strip dies, uh, we have 18 different sizes. Also, all right. wait. Yes, there's more. There is a deal. Okay. It's hidden on the website, and I want to make sure everybody knows. If there is anybody who does not have a two and a half inch strip oh, die, yes. I don't know how this slipped through the cracks, but it is marked down to 61.59 today. There you go. And you use that Memorial 30, 30 code. Yep. So two and a half inch absolutely, strip. you want to get that and. Real quick plug for machine embroidery folks, the paid downloadable embroidery designs, they're 20% off today. So don't forget, our don't forget. I'd try this month is the butterfly. Yes. It's available on our website and it has a free embroidery download. Yes. Look at how fun that is. To do the little antenna. To do the little um, antennas. And then uh, the bird and birdhouse Die is um, also available, and this is one of the four purchase embroidery files, and they're all 20% off right now. So a great chance to pick up these two fun dies for spring. All right. Don't forget, forget those anything? new rulers. Somebody wanted to ask if okay. there were um, no slip things on the back of the new rulers. No. And there are not, but you can buy, we don't sell them, there are little sticky dots yeah. to put on the back you of them buy if you dots. want to. I don't like them on my little ones because I move those around so much when well, I'm I doing. I carry them with me and stuff. Yeah. And then they have a tendency to stick to my projects. And right. Erica is going to announce our winner of ooh, our ooh. Go Storm at Sea Die. Do you I have it there? So. I don't know, I'm looking. I can announce it if you need me to. 
Fuck, blah, blah. Where'd they put it? I don't know. It's okay. We'll get oh, a drum, drum roll, please. It? Yeah, I have it. Oh, okay. Wait. Drum roll. I know where it is. Okay, get it. My one job, it's like, I feel like Sigourney Weaver in what's the movie? Uh, I don't know, you had one Galaxy job, Erica. Quest. I've yeah. got one, one job. job. One job to read the, the winner. Can you find okay. it? I, I have, I'm okay. ready. You can ask Brock for a drum roll. Okay, Brock, I'm ready. <laughs> Tina F. from Crossville, Tennessee. Congratulations. <laughs> Good job, Erica. All right, Quilters, be sure to join us next week for AccuQuilt Live as we get ready for wedding season. We're going to be using the Go, the Go version of the double wedding ring die. It is also part of that Memorial 30 sale. So if you have a wedding upcoming and you're thinking you want to do some stuff, next week we're going to show you how to do it. On behalf of our entire team, we have Offsite, we have Morgan and Lauren are helping with us here in the Dream Studio. I have Brock and Joe and Justin, and of course the lovely Erica. I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more.